Recording in progress. Um, July uh, 23rd, uh, 2024, Infrastructure Committee meeting to order. Um, let's see. Um, uh, I guess the uh, first order of business is to approve the uh, uh, um, meeting minutes uh, for May 28th, 2024. Do I have a motion for that? I move that we accept the minutes. Second. Second. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Okay, so the motion passes. Okay. Moving on to the uh, second item, uh, borough project. Can we get an update on the roof reinforcement project? Great. Thank you. Uh, so I sent an email out to council this morning outlining where we are with that project. I am happy to report that uh, We've just received a notification this morning that the project is well, it, it, the status of significant completion. And so that's a technical term that uh, our project manager uses with the contractor um, so that uh, they, the maintenance bond then becomes active. So the maintenance bond becomes active as of yesterday and the maintenance bond is active for one year. So uh, the site is pretty much cleared out with all of the equipment. The contractor will be doing some more cleaning um, and there's uh, some painting of some radiator pipes that need to be done by the contractor prior to... What was that? That's happening. Yeah. Oh, it's happening now. Real-time uh, uh, data inputs right now. So they are painting the radiator, the replaced radiator pipes as we speak, and we're expecting that uh, they will fully be out of here by the end of this week. Um, I also sent, an e included in that email with council, is a hold the date for September 6th. Uh, since we will be meeting here that afternoon for another event. I thought that all of your schedules were probably, that was the best day for all of your schedules. So we're going to um, uh, plan a dedication and open public open house for the site at 10 a.m. on September 6th. And if any of uh, council members are interested in looking at the project before we go to full operating, please let me know. I'd be happy to walk you over there and just look at the structure. It's pretty impressive. Uh, the library is slowly navigating towards uh, uh, reopening their operations. We need to move a bunch of stuff from the last of the shipping containers out in the parking lot behind 100 Conway. Uh, once that's done, that shipping container will be removed and they are also uh, doing a deep cleaning at the library and they will be replacing the entryway floorway. And if you've walked by 80 Windsor this past week, uh, Jeff Eldon and the Public Works crew have been busy at work stripping the, I don't know, how many layers of paint did you count? Like At least 12. 12 layers of paint on the doors on both wings. And uh, that's what we were talking about before the meeting started, that we're utilizing an infrared technology uh, that is safe for old paints and actually stripping it right down to the bare wood to refinish it prior to September 6th uh, to make it look as nice as possible. That concludes my report. So, I mean, I'm sorry if I didn't hear every detail perfectly. Is that, is that, that cosmetic work that we got funding for, is that happening later or that's happening right now? That has also been completed. Okay. And, you, and all the funding for that has been secured? Uh, not yet. Um, given we have to wait until the bill has been paid, payment has been issued, and the check has been cashed, and then we will ask for reimbursement from the Norberth Borough Industrial Development Authority and our partners at the library and the Girl Scouts. Okay, great. Thanks. Okay. Um, oh, it looks like Jesse is here, so we can go on with the, the Norberth Avenue Bridge update. There we go, trying to get everything working on my end. Greetings, everybody. Uh, hope everybody's doing well. I distributed to Matt last week uh, another update summary. Um, just hit on some of the key points. Uh, I, you know, the main takeaway really is all the dominoes are lined up um, and we're starting to give that shove to make everything fall into place. Um, appreciate the council's approval of the Amtrak construction agreement. We are still waiting for Amtrak to send the executed copy of that. 
we have word from them that once that comes through, uh, they're going to provide sort of the list of next steps to get on their construction schedule on it. That's, that is the big controlling piece for us. Um, so eagerly anticipating that, we'll keep nudging them to try to receive it. All other pieces are in line or en route to completion. Um, had some back and forth this week actually with PennDOT about approval of the bridge structure. Uh, we think that approval there is imminent. Um, my understanding is we're coordinating some signatures now. We'll so the council know as soon as that comes through. Utilities are progressing um, and we're beginning to prep the other submissions that'll have to go through PennDOT to get this thing advertised. Um, that is my high level update. If anybody has any specific questions, I'd be happy to provide more information. So Matt, did that update go out in the flash or that's gonna go out in this week's flash? So we included the general update in last week's flash newsletter and the meeting minutes from our last coordination meeting were included in this meeting's packet. Okay. Um, um, that's it. So um, the big thing we're waiting for is this uh, Amtrak to give us the, the list of next steps, right? Is that a good summary? Correct. I think there will be a form that we need to complete. You know, Peony will take care of that, and then we will, I believe, get a new contact person to coordinate getting on Amtrak's schedule. Good. Um, uh, other projects uh, uh, from the um, um, uh, uh, from the borough uh, engineer. Uh, yep. So just a quick update. Maybe tell you want to update on the roads program. We just done that. Uh, yeah, I knew uh, a couple months or last month or a couple months ago when we talked last. Uh, I mentioned that the contractor was anticipating to start sometime in September, and uh, we had talked to them again. And they were able to bump that up to around mid-August. Um, and that's also still contingent on us receiving the liquid fuels application approval, which we have not received yet. Um, so we're, you know, we're in contact with, with PennDOT right now to still try and, uh, to, to get that, to get that application approved. Um, sounds like they have everything that we need. It's just a matter of them, you know, pushing it through. Yeah, I think they acknowledged that they'd asked for one piece of information and we sent it to them, but now they just need to process the paperwork. So that should not be an issue, but that's uh, that's what that is. So we should be paying uh, next month. Uh, and then just a, a quick uh, update on the building HVAC. Uh, about two or so weeks ago, we had met for our staff and talked about writing down the last uh, remaining items. Uh, I did just talk to the contractor call me this morning, I believe. Uh, it sounds like he had, there was a serious accident in his family, either his brother or his brother-in-law, but he was getting back into it this morning, which should be um, uh, reforward of all the information, and they should be receiving a better schedule of information from him uh, shortly uh, on, on finishing the last items. So, okay. uh, other than that, so have we paid the... Have we paid um, the, the building HVAC contract or we still have some retainage there? We're still, uh, we are still holding some money left on the project. And uh, the previous comments were about the, I'm sorry, I'm having a little hard time hearing. The previous comments were about um, the road repaving? Uh, yes, that is uh, the road repaving as of now is tentatively scheduled for uh, mid-August, somewhere around the 14th. Uh, it's about two days of work, and we are just awaiting on the final approval documentation from PennDOT uh, for our liquid fuels approval. Okay. And I guess that uh, there'll be a, a notification, uh, you know, or sign put up on the street about that? Uh, correct. The contractor is... Um, Two levels. The contractor is required to post a minimum of 24 hours before on the street uh, with signage and notification, but the borough ahead of that generally would also give the, the broader notification of the work. And um, um, did, we, did, did we get agreement to pay the other road or we're not doing that? 
That contact information was forwarded to Council Member Salmonson, and um, I'm not sure if they were able to connect. Yeah. I don't know if you heard. I have not heard of that moving anywhere. Okay. Yeah, unknown. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah. Other projects? Anything else? I don't have anything else to talk about. No. Uh, that's the only really active projects. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything else. Well, um, there is um, the, there is another person on the on the line called iPhone. I just wonder if that's public comment. Looks like because so, I guess there's nobody in the room. Yep. So iPhone just had their hand up. Go ahead and did they have their hand up? They did for a minute. Go ahead, iPhone, unmute. Oh, there we go. There you go. I would like to make a comment, Carol Marie Scanlon. Ira, you're hearing firsthand what it's like being on a Zoom. It sounds like we're on the wrong side of a waterfall, um, which is sad because you can't hear much of what's going on. A couple questions I have is, is there an RFQ or an RFP out for uh, Sabine Avenue, the 201 Sabine Avenue property? Um, no. Um, my right to know shows that council has spoken with developers, and I would like to know the developer is talking about his low-income housing. This is Penrose. And um, when I asked a question that if he had heard of 201 Sabine as impossible for his project, he said no, yet my right to know shows that 201 Sabine was an opportunity uh, property. Is the 201 Sabine on the plan for this development, including low-income housing? There is no plan right now. Is there discussions about it going on, but without the plan being written? Not that I know of. Okay. Um, has a certificate of occupancy been issued for the uh, development on the north side of Haverford? Can you be more specific? Um, for Rubens properties, uh, for the old Rickland's and the old gas station. Uh, nope, not yet. Okay, and um, has there a demolition permit been given for the south side for Rubens properties? Uh, no applications have been submitted to the office for that location yet. Okay, and then um, what for the bridge? What is have we paid everything we need to pay to keep the project moving? Like, has the borough come up with its share? Yes. And what is the full dollar amount that we've had, we pay for that? Half paid or will pay? Uh, both. How about both? No, I don't have either, which <laughs> I'm just, I'm oh. just looking to uh, get an answer. Um, I can probably come up with what we have paid. Um, so remember, right now it is... Um, current funding is 80% federal, 15% uh, state, and 5%... Borough. So of all of the costs related to the bridge, that includes all of the design, all of the applications, uh, moving through approval, as well as all of the VSBA, architectural renderings, uh, the borough is on the hook for 5% of those costs, as well as the... And you don't know what that is not, offhand? Not off the top of my head, okay. no. All right. And do you also have a number, or could you get a number for what the borough has spent on the bridge project? Yeah, I would have to, um, I don't have that, I don't have those numbers uh, committed to memory, so I would need to uh, look at our accounting for that. All right, that would be great. And I also sent you an email, Matt, thanking you for getting that light back up at the uh, stairs to the park. Makes a huge difference. It has definitely deterred people from uh, hanging out at the park at night. Now, is there a possibility of getting that second arm put on? Not sure. Jeff Eldon and I were talking about that. That was, the light was reinstalled as a result. Uh, Jeff, feel free to jump in. I believe the utility pole had moved and they had removed a light standard, so we moved it back to where the stairs were. I'm not sure. Is your recollection that there was a second arm? No, there was never a second arm. We've requested that second arm because illuminating the park would definitely deter uh, evening activity at the park. I mean, that's what we feel because kids like to be in the dark, not in the light. 
Yeah, so what it would be is just putting a second arm facing into the park and then hooking it up to the existing wires that are there. Yeah, I, I hear you. I, I think that's um, I think that's an option we should explore. I'd like to coordinate with our chief of police on that as well, just to see about from some enforcement issues, if there are enforcement issues at that location. I think that would be the appropriate course of action. Now, are there rules that say park is closed from dark to dusk or dusk to dawn? Or 10 to 6 or, you know, something of that sort? I believe so. Okay, because there would be your enforcement arm right there. Yeah, and I, you know, as always, would encourage you to call the police if you see suspicious behavior in any of our parks. We're, our block is very tolerant of kids at the park. It's only when they start to... Uh, uh, cursing like sailors, throwing things around, and becoming disruptive that we call. You know, kids on the swings at night, that's you know, not really a big issue as long as they're quiet and respectful. But when they start throwing the, uh, the nets around and the chairs around, that's when we get a little uh, annoyed with them. Okay, um, th th thanks a lot, Carol M Marie. I hope um, you appreciate that we have uh, a little more time in these infrastructure meetings for some uh, informal Q and A than we do in the council meetings. And so, well, that is something it said. Ask my questions at uh, committee meetings. Um, yep. I don't. I don't yep. understand why council can't answer an easy question, but the committee meetings, I appreciate your answer. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, Thanks a lot. Um, and then with that, uh, I'll take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Uh, uh, second. We got that. All, all in favor? Aye. Okay. Meeting is adjourned. Thanks a lot, guys. Sorry I wasn't.